everybody. Uh, I had a rough uh, week. I went to a bar recently. A fella thought I was looking at his girlfriend. He said, well, if you do that again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear you a new asshole. And there's no right answer. So I just said, well, well good, then I'll have two assholes. And I ran as fast as I could. And people will tell you, you can't run from your problems. That's not entirely true, though. If your problem is location-based, try moving to a different location. I worry about crime a lot. I sleep with a bat under my bed in case my apartment is ever burgled. That way the robber will get a complimentary bat after he shoots me in the head with his gun. If I come out with a bat and he has a gun, all I can do at that point is say, don't shoot, it's illegal. I hope he respects that. Instead of carrying mace, I carry Axe body spray. It's cheaper, it's more effective. A guy tried to mug me and I sprayed him. He said, ew, what is that? I said, dark temptation. He said, good Lord, it's the worst thing I've ever smelled. I said, exactly, and now people are gonna think you're a douchebag. I think the reason I worry so much about crime is that I watch too many crime programs on television. You ever watch a documentary about serial killers and think to yourself, other than the murdering, I have a lot in common with this guy. He's a misunderstood genius. Then the narrator said he did a lot of weird stuff and he was by himself at home and I'm not gonna cast the first stone on that one. After all, I just watched five documentaries in a row on serial killers and now I gotta eat. Some of you thought that was inappropriate. That's okay, I'm used to it. A lot of people think I have Asperger's and I know that because they tell me they think I have Asperger's. <laughs> a friend said, Joe, it seems like you have Asperger's. It's as if you have no idea what's appropriate to say to other adults. I said, I don't think that's true. I know you're not supposed to tell other adults. I think you have Asperger's. <laughs> But maybe he has Asperger's and that's why he said that. I do blurt out whatever I think is best. Once a friend said, Joe, I'd be married 25 years now. If only I hadn't gotten divorced. I said, of course, I'd be a great surfer if I could stand up on the board and do any of that. But you're right, if facts were different, other facts relating to the initial facts would also be different. If things aren't what they were, they would not be what they are. You win that argument every time. <laughs> it's the worst when I have to call a lady on the phone asking for a date. Sometimes I get so nervous I can't remember any of my words. So I make a date script. But sometimes the lady I was talking to would say something I hadn't accounted for in my pre-planned dialogue, ruining everything. I'm like, hi, I'm Joe, how are you? She's like, I'm good, how are you? And I'm like, shit. <laughs> I don't have anything for that. It is just getting harder and harder to be a human. I notice people are getting more and more judgmental. I saw an actor apologize for something on the news and my friend blurred out, he only apologized because he got caught. And I said, well, yeah, that's how apologies have always worked. <laughs> If you apologize before you get caught, that's a confession. <laughs> Learn your words. I do think it's getting easier to be youngster. Every time I hear the phrase, sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you, I think it was a lot harder to be a kid when that was coined. Not only were you getting hit with sticks and stones, but you were getting made fun of so much it made sense to compare those two quite unrelated experiences. How was school today? Not good. They called me a loser, but all things being equal, it was a lot better than that time they hit me with all the stones. That's literally how they murdered hookers in the Bible. Take it down a notch, guys. We're 12. Thanks so much, everyone.